Right when I need it the most, my tractor stopped working on me. And I think the majority of my problem is trying to run a 6 volt system on a 12 volt battery. So I got on Amazon and I ordered the cheapest 12 volt con conversion I find. And uh, we're going to see what happens. We'll unbox the thing. And yeah, nothing but problems here. Uh, <laughs> while trying to diagnose why I'm not getting any fire. I went ahead and knocked a hole in the radiator, so I'm waiting on that. A few other things I want to do, new plug wires. I got a muffler as well, so let's unbox this thing and see what we got. I'm going to have to remove the rest of the tractor from the table so we can get some unboxing going. I don't know how I did this, but a hole knocked right there when I was taking this radiator off, so we're waiting on another one of those. Come on! All right, let's start digging in. Belt, okay. Sort of wiring harness. Oh, that's a lot of wires. All right. A resistor, okay. We got here some hardware. More hardware. Mountain bracket for the one wire alternator. Oh man, I can put this on my old Ford truck like an automotive alternator oh hello so this happens my tractor flexes and breaks the front distributor i also have to address that at some point oh another bracket all right we got some instructions so take a good look at that if you want to see the instructions that come with this kit so i'm going to go over the instructions right now and try to figure out what i'm doing Oh yeah, my kit did come with a coil. I just have it on the tractor right now. All right, I reckon I'll just grab all my standard wrenches here. Oh, he's a nasty critter. Whoa. Ew. We're gonna dispose of this guy before we get started on the tractor here. My, my ohm meter, my amp meter. Uh, it's not even hooked up there. We got a regulator here that we're going to delete. I don't even think it's doing anything right now. So this is a good opportunity to clean up all this wiring. I also put a wiring harness in my, my 68 Ford not too long ago. And it's like the best thing I ever, I ever did. I'm, I'm not struggling to figure out what goes to what or worried about my stuff catching fire. What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> Messing with a tractor? I just unhooked that generator. Well, <laughs> I just cut those. But uh, I, put, I took this factory uh, little wire holder off to keep the wires off the head. And the we have the original wiring harness from 1948 here. And yeah, I reckon I'm getting rid of that. So, man, that, that's pretty cool, though. It's, it's lasted this long up, up until when I got a hold of it. Of course, we're not going to need this regulator here. So we'll say goodbye to this as well. Time to get the old generator off. I don't trust the new belt in the kit, so I'm going to try to keep this belt intact and not throw it away. So this old generator from 1948, go ahead and come off. And he can be friends with that old regulator I'm not using. Oh, here's something I've never even noticed before because it's been hidden back there. <laughs> I believe that's the light switch, so I will, I will keep that thing and... Uh, course i'll test it and everything make sure it works and we can we can use that for our lights all right goodbye old wiring harness well for mounting the alternator the instructions aren't the best here that's got a good bit of slop <laughs> and the other side of this mountain bracket also has a good bit of slop and you can see it's the same on the alternator so and it looks like to line the pulleys up you need to mount it uh, so the alternator is forward. Uh, yeah, we might have four washers there. I can I can space those out. And I'm sure these little ears are going to also collapse when I tighten it down. All right, gang. It turns out that the rounded edge of the mounting hardware for the al alternator is where you need to use your uh, original uh, hardware parts where you took the generator off. And of course, as I said, you need to make sure your mounting hardware is where you set forward. Uh, where the alternator's kind of set forward to line up the pulleys. All right, alternator's on, and that was simple enough. So here's something I'm not looking forward to, and it's taking these two head bolts off. Uh, 
yeah last person that touched those was probably from 1948 so i'm gonna have to do that to get these on and uh from what i hear 50 to 55 foot pounds uh putting them back on then we'll measure everything see where i need to mount this little piece all right 80 years later let's see if they come loose yep let's see if i can put 50 pounds on these without breaking them there's 55 it's turning 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 turn, 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 55 i went ahead and put the belt that came with it on at first i thought it was too small um well once i realized that i can't take this pulley off that's almost impossible i just unbolted these 9 16 bolts flipped it in and there it is and i got enough space away from the header to put some more adjustment on this if i have to so yeah a lot of a lot of comments saying the the belt was too small that the kit uh came with but no it's not it works it works just fine uh you just got to have a little little know-how to get it on all right my alternator's on i did just a little bit of shimming with some washers to get that lined up perfect and yeah that thing is on i got a <laughs> i guess i got enough enough clearance between the alternator and the exhaust manifold so yeah i guess we're gonna work on our wiring next all right just going by my instructions uh the first little piece of wiring harness we kit we get uh has a red and brown wire uh the red wire is going to hook to the one wire alternator and also the coil uh right here following this loom up the brown wire is going to come with this provided resistor and is also the red wire here is going to go uh, to the amp meter there all right next up is my loom with the red and white wire so the white wire it goes from the little starter actuator button here I, I just cut the little factory boot so i could get the white wire through there and it goes to the back of the solenoid here the red wire from the amp meter all the way to the positive terminal on the solenoid and uh i actually had to strip it from the loom so it all fits in the, the factory positions here so not too bad all right ran into the first real problem uh with this kit if you're going to use the resistor that they provided instead of the the ford one that was mounted here uh the orange wire is not long enough i had to had to invent something to the ignition there is a red wire but it kind of has the wrong uh <laughs> end to plug into the resistor that the kit provided all right not too many problems with a 12 volt kit the wires are of course i'm gonna make this a little prettier but it's definitely definitely cleaner than it was like i said earlier i'm not getting fire <laughs> to my plugs i have a new distributor coming i think it might have something to do with the front end knocking the uh knocking the distributor cap and, and breaking it so i got a new distributor coming a new new cap and uh new wires and everything what i hear most in the comments about this kit is the belt's too small well, it seemed like it was too small at first till I uh, took the alternator off and put it on. Now it, now it fits fine. It's away from the exhaust manifold, and there's plenty of adjustment going on there. Like I said, if I'm using the resistor that they included, my, my orange wire is a little too, little too short here. So I had to invent something there. So not too complicated at all. That's the 12 volt, and of course I got... I got a radiator and a muffler and a distributor to put on so it might be another video or two before we fire this thing up but yeah i got a link to this uh kit in my description from amazon here yeah i appreciate y'all watching